that the fact that E4M decided to have this uh, event happening in and uh, is actually having a physical event shows a lot of um, um, a lot of puts a lot of sign on the fact that the energy is back in the system. Uh, I feel the fact that um, uh, while we have been offline online this year for judgment, the next year should be an online uh, offline exercise uh, because that brings in much more amount of engagement between the jury members and the uh, and the entries that come in play. Um, the overall this year, uh, I guess because of most of the work was being done from home and uh, physical engagement was li very little, uh, obviously most of the entries that we saw had that distinct mark um, coming through very well. Mm -hmm. But I guess uh, there's a lot of scope for improvement. Uh, at the same time, congratulations to all the winners, the gold, silver, and the bronze winners. They're done a, they're done a terrific job in, in a tiresome environment. Mm -hmm. And um, the, when you look at it from that perspective, from that lens, uh, the work is just outstanding in nature. So kudos to all of them and wish you the very best for next year. I think uh, uh, some of the categories like uh, experiential marketing, Mm -hmm. uh, as well as influencers marketing uh, stood out strongly. Uh, in a, experiential is even more uh, um, important uh, because of the fact that uh, it was during the pandemic time and there was no in-person touch and feel experience uh, marketing wasn't existing actually. Mm -hmm. So it was happening all through digital platforms. So how you make that experiential marketing come alive in a digital platform without a physical presence was the most important element. And I think a couple of those entries did that superbly.